Hi, this is Russell Whitney, and I'm here with an amazing positive student of mine, Sabrina. Sabrina, what's your question? So yesterday, yes. you told your story, and yes. you talked about hitting rock bottom in your life with drugs, alcohol addiction, yes. and even getting to the point of taking your own life. Yes. And you were then able to turn that around and right. go, you know, literally you talked about um, asking for money on the street, you right. know, going from zero to being a hugely successful entrepreneur yes. now. So mm -hmm. I was wondering if you could just talk about a little bit where you were yes. and then the key things that brought you to where you are today. I, I love this type of question for me because it hits home and it's personal. So. Um, in my life, I, I was successful. I suffered from addiction. I lost everything, literally, to where I was panhandling on street. I was in bad areas. I mean, I got into addiction of crack cocaine, which will take anybody out very quickly. Uh, I ended up getting in jail, hitting rock bottom, getting into treatment, being Baker acted, putting basically into a loony bin. And uh, at a point in time, there had to come a moment of clarity saying, do I want to be in this life? Do I want to be in the cesspool anymore? And for me, I knew there had to be a better way in life, uh, 100%, because there's tons of people out there that are happy, that are successful, that are living great, financially free lives or spiritually fit lives. So the first thing for me is um, I had to be ready. I had to be open and say, listen, I'm powerless, I need some help. Um, second biggest thing I needed to do is I needed to reach out to somebody that had what I wanted, right? That was already uh, sober, that was living a great life and doing better for themselves. So um, I, I just, I, I didn't want to live in that misery. I didn't want to live in that negativity. I knew there was, a, my higher power had a better purpose for me in life and put me here for a reason. However, I also believe everything that I went through was a blessing for myself. I also believe everything that I went through was a learning lesson from my higher power to get me to where I'm at today to deliver a message of experience, strength, and hope. But the only way I was able to do it is I got guidance from others out there that um, showed me there was a better way to live, that showed me that I didn't have to chase a drug to numb my brain, that showed me how I could deal with emotion on a daily basis. But I had to work at it, right? I had to put in the work. I had to put in the time, the energy, and effort. I had to relive some of the past because in going in our downward spiral, a lot of times it relates to childhood, it relates to traumas that have happened, and they're triggers that are buried subconsciously. So I had to do a lot of soul searching and digging and rate it out on paper. And then there was a lot of things I did in my life that I kept as a secret and that I lied about or I didn't want anybody to know. I had to get all of those secrets out and share it with somebody that I trusted, wouldn't go out and just share it to the world. Now though, I'm able, I share my entire story. I have no problem sharing it because I was able to trust in somebody that would say, share it with me, I'm not gonna judge you. And then I learned that there's a lot of people that don't judge. Just because I was judgmental at one point in time, there's tons of people that don't judge. Mm -hmm. So now I share my story with others. Those of you, if you're, if you're suffering from depression, addiction, um, negativity, whatever's going on in your life, find somebody out there for yourself. First, you gotta be willing and open to make a change. And then the biggest thing is find somebody that has, uh, either if you're, if you're addicted, find somebody that is sober and has been sober for a long time, get some mentoring from them and get around people. The, the reason why my downturn as well was proximity. So uh, the people I was surrounding myself with were keeping in my, that negativity. And as I told in my story yesterday, um, the drug dealer is actually one of the first ones that started to change my life and told me, listen, you are better than this. You have more than this. And this is a drug dealer that's taking my money each day. Like that's what was feeding his family. And said, Russell, I don't know what you're doing. You have so much more to offer the world. Mm -hmm. You're not like all these other people that are here. You got a lot to offer. And he mm -hmm. cut me off, wouldn't sell me drugs anymore. Wouldn't let his you know, posse of people sell me drugs anymore. And that really started to open my eyes. I'm thinking, I got this drug dealer here telling me I can do better. And mm -hmm. it, it started to just click and get the light. So mm -hmm. after that, I, I committed, I, I asked, and I, I put in the work, I put in the time, I put in the energy, I put in the effort to fix myself and to 
get a higher power, meaning whatever you believe in, God, Yahweh, uh, Jehovah, the water, the sun, the moon, whoever your higher power is. Also higher power is just talking like this, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of times people don't talk, they don't communicate, they don't talk about their challenges. Mm -hmm. Talk about your challenges, find somebody you trust, find somebody that you can release the information. Because mm -hmm. two beings, three beings getting together, mm -hmm. that is a higher power. There's communication you have inside of you that could help me. Mm -hmm. There's communication I have inside of me that can help you. Exchanging that information, that's mm -hmm. a higher power talking back and mm -hmm. forth to each other. Mm -hmm. So that was an amazing question. I really love these types of questions. Thank you for asking. Thank you.